welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm so happy to be here with you this morning. So, so many things going on in the world that we know. So many distractions going on in the world that we know. And um, that's exactly what they are, so stay focused. A couple things I want to stay, say to start off the show. Thank you for taking the time to be with me here today. I'm so grateful um, for your presence. I am going to give a gentle reminder that this show does air on TV, WSCS, Roku, and another a number of other streaming channels. Um, all of WSCS's streaming channels and all of Rude Rangers TV st streaming channels. It um, does air on TV on several dif different stations. That's why I sound so eloquent for TV. <laughs> um, and also air on most podcasts, the podcasts. I put it out to Rude Rangers and WSCS puts it out. So please, when you're asking questions, be mindful of what you are saying and how you are saying it. Second, uh, I'm Psychic Medium Tony Green. I have been a psychic medium and intuitive channel my entire life. So what I am, uh, I, I always think it's funny. I have this very condescending not so nice person in my life that will say things like, I know you think you're psychic. Really? I have a whole TV show and eight books about it or seven books. I'm working on number eight. I think I am. Are you kidding me? Um, but I, <laughs> narcissist much? Okay, I need to stop. I'm just trying to be funny, everybody. I'm I'm trying to be funny. Um, so here's what I, yes, I have been a psychic medium and channel my entire life. Um, and yes, I do have seven books. They are all available on Amazon. I'm working on number eight right now, which I'm very excited about getting number eight out there. Oh my goodness. Um, my phone is just like one call after the other right now. Um, and okay, so aside from that, uh, there was so much, and it's so distracting because as I'm trying to talk, whatever. Um, so, okay. Uh Okay, if you'd like an appointment with me, that's where we are. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, if you would like to schedule an appointment, um, I do provide appointments. The uh, only way to get an appointment with me is through my website, tonig.info. I do not reach out to people for appointments. I do not need to. And please do not get scammed by somebody who reaches out to you. I have uploaded new uh, clearings on TikTok this morning, and I'm going to be putting them on the rest of, you know, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn this afternoon. So be ready for those, everybody. Okay, I want to say hi to Heather, Genevieve, Fawn, Scott, Patrick, um, Lolly. I know Lolly um, and Sandy watch all the time. Jessica, you know, Jessica, thanks for this weekend. It was awesome. Um, Jess is this amazing makeup person. So when I see her and she'll bring me makeup sometimes, and I'm looking to see if I can easily reach for the palette she brought me this weekend. Don't, 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 don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I think I got it. I think I got it. Nope. I don't have it. It's not there. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So Jess, brought me Too Faced Natural Eyes, and I love it. I love it. It is awesome. Now, here's the thing. Brand new makeup is like tools to men. It is. When we open it and we 
Mm, and we look at all the pretty colors and they're not cracked and broken and used. It's like, mm, this is such an amazing, beautiful palette. Dun, dun, dun. And I love it. Absolutely adore it. I was a little nervous that the colors might be too bold. Perfecto. Perfecto. Also, I just want to say, yes, makeup. Love brand new makeup, but I also love brand new tools. <laughs> Bring me a drill and watch me like go crazy and figure out what I need to make. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I love brand new tools too. Uh, drills, even even like screwdrivers. I'm like, what can I go screw? Don't take that the wrong way. What can I go? What can I go do? What can I go put in the wall? What can? How can I use this? <laughs> I love tools like I love makeup. I know, right? It's awesome. Okay. In a moment, I am going to be taking cards. And when I your area code, please say your name and you're calling from and a specific question and or connect. If people you, I will let you know who is here for you. I will. I will tell you so-and-so is here. I probably won't know their names, but I will um, tell you <clears throat> whom I see. Now, I am going to tell you, on Monday's show, somebody by the name of Marjorie showed up, and that person is back again. So if, <laughs> for the love of all that's good, please, if you know Marjorie, please tell me who this Marjorie is, because Marjorie is here, and I just heard her name again. And maybe you're Marjorie, and this is somebody for you, but I keep hearing Marjorie, Marjorie. So, so yes, Marjorie's here. Um, or somebody named Marjorie, somebody wants your attention. Uh, real quick, I want to say hi to John. John, uh, absolutely my pleasure, John. John just thanked me for my TikTok uh, clearings. And t this morning, you guys, uh, this morning I did uno, dos. That's the only Spanish I know. <laughs> I also know trace, but I don't think I say it correctly. Uh, I think I'm supposed to roll my tongue. Mm, I, I don't, I don't know how to roll my tongue. I know how to twist it and curl it and I can tie a cherry stem with it. Is that, is that pertinent information? I don't think so. Anyway, the romantic I did two TikToks. And the first one is um, a text. And I think this one, every when, when you get to that one, pin it, save it, send it to yourself because it's for spiritual attacks, psychic attacks, physical attacks, any attacks at all that come at you. Um, and I cannot tell you the number of people that feel like they are under. I hope everybody, everybody, I really, truly hope that everybody goes and does this TikTok. It's about shadow stalking. So I just asked everybody to post their shadow stalking story or, uh, yeah, their shadow stalking experience um, in this one. And then I'll go on and, and do some of my shadow stalking uh, experiences. Now, shadow stalking is when you... And it's probably my term. I've never heard this term before, but it's, I think it fits. It's when you end a relationship with someone, like you're done, you're out, see ya sort of thing. And this person starts popping up or starts making relationships and friendships um, with your friends and your people. Um, never made friends with them before or starts going to your practitioners or hair or whatever people um they make, it, they make sure they start uh putting themselves in uh your people's lives and they do this for two reasons uno dos again the first reason is because they uh want the other person to know their side of the story and um, to make sure that they don't come off looking like the villain. Okay, that's fine. And also they want to uh, keep getting information about you and knowing where you are in your life and keep that connection via 
a third person, even if they're not talking to you. I know I'm fine, but let me go now. Oh, I'm kidding. You guys, I got jokes all day long. So please, nobody take anything personally. Do not, do not think I, I'm trying to be funny this morning. I am just trying to straight up be funny. Um, but please go to go and put your shadow stalking stories down. Um, typically people who shadow stalk you, they do have personality disorders. I'm not diagnosing anybody. Their behaviors do that for themselves. I'm just saying the if you if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, it might be ending up orange duck at a Chinese restaurant. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, there he is. Like, I'm just I'm gonna take callers so that I don't get like uh, blah, thrown at me later. Okay. Hey, Caroline. Wonderful to see you. Hi, Genevieve. You guys, Genevieve is just like one of the sweetest people I know. And she's going to be, she already does amazing healing work. She's going to do even more amazing healing work down the line. I just, I know she is. She's going to, I just know, you know how I know? Because apparently I think I'm a psychic. I'm joking. <laughs> I am a psychic. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> 205. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Please take me off of speakerphone if you have me on speaker. Yes. Hi, Tony. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking my call. Um, my yeah. name is Patricia. I'm calling from um, Alabama. Oh, I want to come visit can you. Hear you. Me, Tony? To, yeah, I can. I want to come visit you just to be in Alabama. Okay. So, Patricia, how can I help you today? Yes, Tony. Um, there's this gentleman by the name of Doug that um, also know we connect. Um, we connect and we um, may have drinks and um, uh, um, Adult we sexy have talk. little talks. And, <laughs> so, just good company. And then... Um, and then we, uh, you know, connect. <laughs> so um, when we connect, um, it's just like people in energy, but energy. Um, the only thing for me is it seems like it was dimensional. It seems as if, uh, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm trying to. The question is, being manipulative or self-serving for him and maybe mind playing toward me because it almost seemed as if for a couple of days it was addictive because it was all I could do was think, you know, about him and everything that happened. Okay. And I mean, it put me to sleep. <laughs> it put me to sleep. Like this is the second time I've went to sleep after the fact. Okay. Like, yeah. What are you doing, girl? I I'm like I am so grateful. I am so grateful you called in today. There is, like, this could be the whole show. It won't be the whole show, everybody. Don't worry. To the rest of my callers, I'm gonna try to get to as many of you as I can. But this is so important, pertinent. This is the Jimmy to the jam. The, I, oh, I just love that you called in today with this. Okay, first and foremost. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. And thank you for sharing these details because some people are aware of this and other people are not. So we are energetic beings. And when we have adult sexy time with other mm -hmm. people, there is absolutely uh -huh. an energy exchange. So you're completely enmeshing, enmeshing, enmeshing your energy and body with somebody else's. Now, when you do this, and especially for women and some men, when you let somebody inside of you, it is they are able, and that's that's probably why it's called penetrating 
just saying, these words are not by accident. Mm -hmm. um, they are, and you are exchanging your energies. Now, if you are with somebody casually, occasionally, maybe just once, um, and they have been with other people, you're also picking up that energy. Okay. So when you are with somebody during sexy time, even just making out, it doesn't even have to be full on penetration. You can pick up everything from their, just their energy, their mood, their whatever to their karma. Mm, girl. Yep. Their karma. You can have a karma and a destiny oh. exchange in that moment. You can pick up the, and when I say karma, I mean, you can pick up just their situations that are going on right now or generational karma that this person has. They, if they are very versed in the energy ex exchange in intimacy, they can really lay it on you or they can be, um, have intention with this act that they're doing most, most people aren't most people aren't aware that when they hop from gina to gina or head to head um that they're picking up this person's very super and i i say this if um, adult beverages or other things probably also picked up other things along the way. And that can be exchanged during sexy time too. And so people will often look at me and wonder like, why are you so prudish when it comes to adult things? Why don't you believe in threesomes? It's not that I don't believe in that stuff. You exchange all your demons by your own. I'm not and in that cool um but there's a lot that gets exchanged during that time so if you're not in a completely monogamous situation you don't know who's what you're picking up okay um so if you are feeling tired after the deed and you're falling asleep, typically it's not because they did such a good job. <laughs> oh, <I'm so> sorry. <laughs> typically that is just not the case. It is because the energy that you just took on, or even more importantly, my friends, listen to this one. Please listen. Energy goes both ways. It's not even maybe that they left something with you or it could be just that they sucked all your good energy right out of you. So okay. what and um, what I'm going to say now is you're going to have adult activities with people. Please make sure that you kind of have an idea of what kind of person this is and what they're doing in the meantime in between time of your adult sexy time now if you believe you're in a monogamous relationship with somebody and they show up and after sexy time you feel a little different you're a little dizzy when you stand up it's not because they threw that ball home uh-uh if you are feeling some sort of way that is not the way you felt before it, you can just pretty much assess that they've probably been dipping their doodle in somebody else's cream. I'm just saying. And then you have to make the decision of what you want to do. Now, sometimes it's not as easy to walk as you want to, but that obsessive thinking after the fact is, yeah, definitely something in that something has probably changed that you do not want um and as a matter of fact the psychic attack or spiritual attack clearing i did this morning would be perfect there's also another one on tiktok that i put on all the other social me media media um clearing 
um, you, your home and everybody in it. But for you and everybody listening right now, right at the 20 minute mark of the show, I'm going to clear any energy transfers. Yeah, that's it. Let's clear that now. And it's actually making me uh, feel a little like a little lump and puke in my throat during any activities. And we're going to start clearing that now for you, everybody listening, re-listening. Oh, yeah. Whew. And then I'm also going to go one step further and say clear all foreign, all foreign energies have been cleared from us. So we're going to clear that now. And this can be, you know, when a friend, a family member, a partner is intently thinking about us, or again, we've been in their presence and we've picked up their energy and we just need to get it off of us and be back in our own energy. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me, everybody. Uh, that's what this is. And again, I feel that coming out of the the throat area. Now, I want to say as a medium, yes, yeah. I can see your loved ones on the other side, but I can also see and feel things that a lot of people don't don't want to. And don't let that make you afraid to open your medium or psychic intuitive abilities because um, they're there a lot of times, whether you can see them or not. Um, it's a matter of, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a matter of um, what you can do with them. Not that they're there or not, but what you can do with it. And it's just clearing it, just sending, asking the angels to come in and take this out. And it's clear this. Um, I don't know if anybody else is feeling this. If you feel it, please let me know. Uh, comment. I am. Girl. Yes, Tony, I'm very much okay. Thank you so much. Absolutely, my pleasure. That is what I'm here for. We help each other. Um, and what I would recommend moving forward is really, and uh, we're all adults, and we have, um, we have, you know, whatever. Um, does do you know what the song? Okay, this is the best way I can say this because my show is on TV. The song Electric Slide. Do you know what that was originally? There's this all new meaning to the song, the electric slide. Look that up and that might be a good option for a lot of women out there. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know, okay. you need to know. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so so that's I'm what I have up. for you, love. <laughs> that's Thank what... you so much, Tony. I knew I needed to call you and find out what had happened because, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was heavy. Yeah, and it seemed like he he brought in like the, the heavier um memory. I don't know if it was just making me feel something more toward him. <laughs> pleasurable because yes. it was afterward. I just felt like, wait a minute, dude. Okay, so thank you for yeah. saying that. Thank you for saying that. And here's another thing that people who are involved in adult active sexy time, let's just call it sexy time. Um, women want sexy time for emotional, psychological, want to be touched, hug, love. Okay, men oftentimes, and some women do this, don't let me blanket out the statement. Oftentimes, men want to lose a load, relieve stress, get rid of their daily, weekly oh. tensions. So when they're having like, yes, in intimacy in general, if it's done right, boys, relieve stress for both men and women. <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. I didn't mean that. I'm just trying to be funny. Um, it relieves stress for both men and women. But when they go into that act thinking, I'm so stressed, I'm pent up, I'm angry, I had a bad day, I'm going to pound this out. Whatever they're pounding out, 
and they may not even realize it. They're pounding it into you. They're they're unloading into us. So if you're the bottom or whomever that came out for, or you're the receptacle, um, that's what we are that's what they're doing. They're unloading all of their plush into us. And if you don't know how to clear that, or if that's their intention for the act itself, you need to really be aware of that. Now, whenever you're having intimacy, ideally, you want to both go into the act thinking you're just pleasing each other and um, it's a mutual give and take of love and sexy time and big old O's, big old O's. Um, it doesn't always work out that way because sometimes people are, like I said, unloading their day. Um, and even if they're not intentionally doing that, it can happen. And it's not only that men do it to women. I know women who do it to men also. And I know, I know women who will intentionally do certain acts to men because they have very false beliefs about what that act is. But um, let's just call it the soul snatcher 3000, where they think if they do a certain act, they can extract uh, certain things. I don't, I don't, maybe they are, maybe they can, but, um, again, uh, it's your intention during the act that is the most important thing. So if you're coming together to come together and have this ex mutual exchange, all good, all good. If it's just another conquest or somebody you're part timing or unloading on, not so good. Not so good for 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 um, <clears throat> for you. So yes, that's 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 a lot of sexy time talk to so open Tony, the show, what, folks. <laughs> so, so Tony, real real quick, I know you got to go to the next caller. So when when what what did you pick up when you? What did you see? Was this a mutual thing or was this an unloading thing for him? Okay, so what, what I... What did it feel like to you? Actually, what if what I see, what I'm... I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing rather than... Um, so energy can be light and energy can be dark. And I don't want you to misunderstand this and think that... If I say this, it means it was like a lower dark being. Um, what I just see is a lot of dark energy being transferred from one person to the other. And again, that can be somebody can have dark energy because they are stressed, angry, having a bad day. It doesn't have to be whatever. So we just like get rid of that, that energy. We release all of that energy. And next time we... We just are a little bit more aware and constant. And here's what I'll say. Just because somebody is trying to, they have bad, uh, they've had a bad day or they're having negative energy, we still want to be intimate with them. All we have to do is, like, have it be our intention and reject any of their transfer is the best I can say that. I don't know if that makes sense to you or not. Thank you so much for taking your time and joining me today. I will be back Monday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes for privacy. I'm sending you as much love as I possibly can. Have an amazing rest of the week.